Hi, it's Andy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. My friends, well, my parents' closest friends, are having their 50th wedding anniversary, and I thought it would be nice to send them a little card. And so I'm going to be using just the word, oops, anniversary from MSE Handwritten. I've been using that stamp set a lot lately. And then I had this little... Um, geez, I lost a little piece of paper that I had for this. There it is. I found this. I bought some things at a garage sale. There was a bunch of just random papers, and it had things like this happy in it, and it had th these papers, and so I thought it'd be fun to just kind of use some of the things I bought and um, make a card out of them. I already used some chipboard, and I put some... Ranger Princess Gold embossing powder on it and heated it so that it's like a molten gold color. I like that. I thought it looked good. And I'm going to use Soft Suede as my color for the word anniversary. I have uh, some other, another sentiment I might use. I'm not exactly certain yet, but right now we're going to just kind of go with it and see how things turn out. That's my ribbon that I'm planning on using. I thought I would just put the anniversary right below, oh, upside down, oh boy. Um, I thought I would just put anniversary right here on the, on the same happy sentiment. So let's see how this comes out. I think I'm going to put it right in the center of it. See how this works. if I cry or if I love it. I like it a lot. It's happy. How's it hit you? You good with it? I think it looks pretty cute. Anyway, we're going to go with it for now. And then inside, I'm going to be making a bigger card than normal. I'm going to be using, um, I'm using a 110 pound cream colored, well, it's not cream colored. It's, it's, darker than cream colored, I think. It's more like a... Uh, Alright, it's cream. We're going to go with cream. I'm going to go with a 5 by 7 card. So it's uh, 10 inches... It's 10 inches front to back, 7 inches tall, and then I score it 5, in five inches. So our card is going to go in this direction. Then I have this paper that I'm going to put on the next section and or also I'm gonna, I haven't decided if I'm going to just raise one piece or raise both pieces. I think I'm going to just raise one piece. So that's what I've made my, I've, I've made a, an executive decision. Everybody in favor of that you can say I. I didn't hear anyone. You need to be louder with your votes. Okay. I might be losing my mind. I'm going to use snail to, to put it down with. If you're not familiar with Snail, it's a Stampin' Up! tape runner. Oh, look, it's out of tape. So we're just going to put some tape runner on the back of this. And this, all this paper came with uh, from this garage sale find. It made me happy. I got a little uneven edge. If you ever cut your paper and you get a weird edge on it, all you have to do is very gently take a nail file and just kind of do that with it and it'll take off any of those little weird bally things, you know, if you have them. And I'm still working on getting my paper trimmer fixed. It's very frustrating. I cut my paper only an eighth of an inch smaller, so it's, um, there, it's not really straight either, but, um, what are you going to do? My card isn't straight either. Let me fix that. Okay, so I trimmed off that little weird edge on my card. I don't know. Some For some reason, when I'm uh, making my cards lately, it seems like I can't uh, fold them properly. I don't know. <sighs> you know how it goes. If one thing goes wrong, a hundred things go wrong. This is some foam, fun foam that I'm going to use on my backing so I can raise it up and when I do this it works a lot better for me when I use a big card when I use fun foam no when I'm using fun foam it works really well when you put this tear tape on the back of it because 
it really holds it down and you don't have to worry about it coming off or some things that you put on you just don't know if it's going to you know the glue sometimes doesn't hold especially wet glues I've had trouble with wet glues not sticking down because they get absorbed into the foam and that's just not the prettiest thing that can happen to you if you know what I mean little piece up there because I had that little malfunction another piece right there okay and then instead of digging out my pokey tool I think I'll just use my scissors to pull up the back and now I'm permanently adhered to that one little section in the back right there wasn't that fun <laughs> what are you gonna do cheapers it's funny when you videotape yourself a lot you start to hear the, the words that you say repetitively and um, when I'm frustrated I know I say jeepers a lot or G's a lot and uh, G's especially makes me laugh because my dad that was his big word if anything everyone wrong G's G's oh man he always said that and it's kind of cute that I remember that because he's been gone for 20 years 20 plus years actually anyway these were his closest friends that are having their 50th anniversary and I wanted to make sure that I commemorated that for them because they were such good people and good friends of my parents Oop, missed that little piece okay now we've got our paper ready to go but before I go crazy and glue it down I'm gonna put a bow on or near the bottom so I'm just gonna run it whoops no I'm out of the, oh I know I'm out of the screen and I don't want to be I'm gonna go right about there and then I'm going to adhere it down might put this on hopefully straight that's pretty good okay and cut the cut my bow I did I did bring my bow jig out just in case I decided I had to use it but I'm going to live on the edge and try and go without it living on the edge cross your fingers the moment of truth and I know I have a, a ton of extra ribbon here but I'm not going to care about that because all I matter all that matters to me right now is that it's straight. And I'm going to get a little I'm going to this is a little glue dot that I'm going to put directly behind the knot so that we can hold it down in place the way we want it looks good are you shocked at how quickly I did that bow if you aren't I certainly am and then I'm just gonna do um, you know the little tails I'm not gonna go crazy and do anything out of the ordinary so far so good our bow is very cute I'm very 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 happy so we're going to put our happy anniversary I think my 50 right there and let's see what do I want to glue those down with now we get to the tricky part right I think I'm going to use a little bit of tear tape for that too oh, geez, I have to turn that back on okay okay for a second I was freaking out because I didn't think I turned this camera back on and, and I thought to myself, 
that's it. I'm just throwing in the towel. If I didn't turn on the camera, that that's the end. I don't have much endurance when it comes to failure. <laughs> I just quit. Oh, jeez. Yes, I could use something easier than this, but I really like the way tear tape sticks. And I might be out of camera when I'm putting it on the back of my numbers, but if I am, you'll have to just uh, wait till I get back in camera. It's not my goal to be out of camera, but on the other hand, I don't know if I can do it when I can't see really well what I'm doing. And I'm not too close to them. I'm not close enough to my numbers. I think what I'll do now is just cut the excess off of here and stick it on the top. Like that. Ooh, my five almost ripped. That would have stunk. That would have been some horror. Horror and a half. Come on. Come off of there. Doesn't want to come off. What else is new? There we go. Then if you if you do this and your tape is too wide, all I do is I just kind of wrap my tape back around so that it makes sure it stays on there and isn't visible. Because you know we don't like it when our you can see our tape, that's for sure. Come on, get off there. Okay, come on. There we go. Same thing with this piece. I'm just gonna fold it back. Oh, my five just separated. How lucky. I think I'm going to stick that five down right there. And then I might as well do the same with the zero. So in case it does the same thing and separates, I can fix them both at once. I was worried about that happening because I really had to make it wet. First I uh, dyed them and I didn't like the color of the dye. I thought it was too dark. So I went back in with the embossing powder and the embossing um, ink and so I was really kind of nervous that the whole thing was going to do that. And it did. How lucky. So now I'm just going to put some wet glue if I can get it out. Come on. There we go. Little wet glue where we need it. So our five actually is adhered. And I'll put that right there. I'm using Scotch scrapbooking glue on my five. There. Our five is back in action. Okay. I was going to pop this up, but I don't think I am now. I like my 50. I think it looks nice. And then inside, I'm sorry, right now I'm taking the backing off of this um, piece. And inside the card, I'm going to put another sentiment that I thought was nice for something like this. Should I pop that up? What do you think? I think I should. Some cool, I got the, this kind of row of sticky stuff. I thought it was really cool stuff because it comes it comes in long strips versus um, circles or you know how usually when you get this you get little circles or you get little squares and this comes in a big long strip like that. I think it's kind of cool. I don't even know where I got it. I just found it in my drawer. I was like I need to use that. Take these couple pieces and put them on the end that because I want to make sure my ends don't buckle. M this um, paper that I'm using is very thin and I didn't want to have a problem with it coming off um, or bending. Sorry, bending when I when I put the, these on and I probably should have done the fun foam on it so that the whole back is covered but I do have quite a few of these little pieces on here. <clears throat> That's how many pieces I put on, so it should, should be okay. And we'll put 
at our happy anniversary. Right there. Take that. Okay. Get all my papers out of the way. I accumulate a lot of those little papers, that's for sure. Then inside my card, what I want to stamp is a sentiment that says, thinking of you on this special day in a very warm and loving way. It's a very old Stampin' Up! set that's been retired since, it's a 1999 set. You can imagine. It's been retired for a while. I'm just going to hold it and let the ink transfer. I like it. And that, that was soft suede. If I didn't say it before, I think I did. But if I didn't, I'll make sure I do. Then the very last thing, if you know how I do my cards, you know I like to um, make my envelope match my card. And I found this um, washi tape in my stash that has gold hearts all over it. And I thought that was very fitting. And I'm going to put it along Isn't it funny? Oh, I can do almost anything else talking, but I can't lay tape. Uh oh. Oh. Don't know where I got that little boo boo from. Get that off of there. Um, I can't. I, it was funny that I can't. I can't lay tape and talk at the same time. Oddly enough. I'm just gonna cut that off and cut that edge off. Just got a little bit more than I need to get off there, and that way. There we have it, our 50th anniversary card and our matching envelope. I think it really came out well. I'm pretty happy. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll tell your friends about it and subscribe. Tell everybody on social media because you know I'm not good at social media, but I really appreciate it if you are, and um, please give it a thumbs up.